My name is Mike Parnell. I'm the head lacrosse coach at Utica College, and I coached Mick for four years. Mick was one of the hardest working uh, players I've ever had the ability to coach. Uh, he had a dedication to making himself better, uh, was a great leader of men, uh, and he was just an alpha. He wanted to be out there, he wanted to be the man, and motivated others to become you know, the best players they could be. Uh, the skills that I saw Mick uh, develop over his time here uh, were two, one, his flexibility, uh, and two, the become a leader. Uh, and we would watch videos. Uh, number one was uh, Ray Lewis and, and how to lead men. And then, like I said, number two was his flexibility. Uh, he couldn't touch his toes when he first got here as, as a player. And then uh, I said, you want to be an All-American, you got to lose a little bit of weight and uh, be able to touch your toes. So we took yoga class, uh, and that's how you end up ultimately becoming an All-American, being more flexible. Uh, another part of his flexibility is Mick was a tough guy. And to a lot of tough guys, every problem, um, you know, he's a hammer and every problem looks like a nail. And I told him, hey, you know, you can't always, you know, not every problem is a nail uh, to be more flexible in your leadership decisions. The thing people know, uh, need to know about Mick is that uh, when he was on the field, you want to equate him to a great white shark. He was always in hunt mode. He was going to chase you down and take the ball away. Uh, with Mick on the field, it made it very easy to play defense. Uh, everyone would shut their guy off and we would send Mick after the ball and he would get the ball. Uh, it was plain and simple, cut and dry. Uh, that's what he did. He was a takeaway artist. Uh, he had 211 caused turnovers, which is an amazing feat for uh, any level. Uh, and he made it look effortless. Uh, and when he was doing it, he was also gonna let you know it was gonna happen too. So he had a little bit of swagger to him. Mick was uh, the program's first All-American. Uh, he was also a three-time All-Conference first team selection in the Empire Eight. He was named to the 2012 ECAC All-Star team. Uh, he was also a two-time captain, uh, which hasn't been done a lot in program history. Uh, he also leads the, the program and caused turnovers with 211, which is also an amazing uh, accomplishment. And he also ranks fifth all-time uh, in ground balls with 233. Uh, another one of Mick's accomplishments was making it to the North-South game, uh, which is an all-star game for the seniors. Uh, you have to be selected to it. Uh, Mick's uh, reputation preceded him when he was down there. Uh, everyone knew of his accomplishments and what a takeaway artist he was. Uh, so during the game, he was calling out first team All-Americans and no one would dodge him. They didn't want to go against him. Uh, and he would get onto the field and he would call another guy out and they wouldn't dodge him. And they wouldn't dodge him because they didn't want to get embarrassed uh, in an All-Star game. Uh, and it's an amazing accomplishment. We've only had two other players selected to the North-South team. Uh, and so for Mick to do that and go down there with, with his you know, accolades and his reputation was an amazing, uh, amazing thing. It is my honor to induct Mick Kurjasek to the Pioneer Hall of Fame.